Okay, we're working on these uh, front ends here, trying to identify where all the errors are at for putting things together. The problem we had is our top nut here, after it's all installed on that stupid repop frame, I mean, this is the repop front end, front end too, is that the threads on this thing were only in there a little bit, about that far. So all this here was hanging out in the wind, so we only had about a sixteenth of threads holding this front end on the bike. After you after you put the crown nut and all that on there, so after measuring everything and looking at how where all the errors are at, you know, we looked at the overall height of the front end from here up to here, the stem height from here to here, and the width down here. We're comparing it to this original uh, pre-war fork here, which is bent but it's still original. We can see where the errors are at. So the first thing is the stem here is about a hundred thou longer than this one over here. So. That's your first problem. Next problem is is this lower uh, centering race here, which is what your bearing race goes on to right here, self-aligns, and there's supposed to be a small gap in here about ten thou. Oops. Now it's used. When you use the V-twin race, which is this one on there. You have a gap that's probably about 25 thou. So this bearing race here, this inner cut here is thicker than the stock one over here. The next problem is when you put it in the cup over here, you take your bearings right here, you stick them in here, you stick your uh, bearing race up in there like this, and you measure across the face from here to here with your caliper right here, and you get a dimension. And on this case here, the these are the repop cups. This is the original Harley cup here, mine. These here are the two repop cups that are I mean, the two cups that came out of the 41 frame that I just showed in the other video. So this here was one dimension. You put this in here, and these are 43 to 45 thou thicker, which makes which moves your nut up another 100 thou almost, you know, it's 90 thousandths difference. So you just took off 90 thousandths more off the top of this. So that's where the your nut here just lost more thread. When you put uh, this bearing race inside of my stock cup and compare it to the stock bearing race, you got 10 thou difference. So you gain 10 thou here that you lose on this side, and on the other side here you lost about 15 or 20. So that's 30 thousandths you lost for sure right there. Then the cup you lost another 45 thou or so, and then the stem you lost 100. So the numbers are starting to add up because these are twice. So you add these two together. So now you get 130, 40 thou you're losing right there, and it just keeps multiplying, multiplying. Uh, we measured the other race up here, and it seemed to be fairly close, just like this one. You know, it's about the same error on both sides. So there's 30 on that side also, and then over here. You, you picked, you lost another uh, little bit right here also. So it all adds up. The other problem is, is this bearing race here is supposed to sit flat on the frame. This one over here from V20, if you look at it, there's a big gap over here on the back side. It's hard to see with all the grease. But when you look in there, the bearing race is not sitting flat. It's at an angle. See, it hits right here. It's got a gap. I mean, see all the grease up under there? So there's another 30 or 40 thou of air right there. Now the reason you have that gap in there is, is because this fork here is put together flat for an inline fork. When you put the offset fork here, when you bend this back, they just drill a hole through the fork and stuck it in there and call it done. Well the problem is, is this surface here is not square to that surface. So now when you put the bearings on top of here, this doesn't sit down flat. So that makes your front end not quite pull in correctly. Now these here have a certain amount of uh, allotment for air here when you put these down. So you're relying on this here part here to take up the difference in angle between the two. Luckily with this version here, it does have provisions to take up that gap. It's not correct, but it takes it up. So, so it's just one more thing that's not right on these things. So, so just like most, all the stuff that's repopped from the old V-twin looks good, but it just doesn't cut and cut it if you want good stuff. So, so right now that's where we're at on this one. Like I said, this one here had the 
headlight mount on already because it all knocked up. We had to bend it to fit everything because it was all off. So it's just, it's just everything's off. So doing as close as the width in here was close. I'm still about a sixteenth too narrow. I already bent this thing out about an eighth. So right now, when you put this tube up against this one here, they're almost the same. So this one's probably bent a little because it's, we know it's bent here because this is supposed to be in line up here and it's, it's bent back. So it went crunch. So there you go. So right now to fix all these problems and still use repop parts is you have to take these cups and cut 50 thousandths off the back side here which will thin this down to a hundred uh, down to an eighth inch thickness because I measured the overall thickness from this side to this side it was like 185, 190 so if you take off 50 it'll drop you down to about 120, 125 thou so you're still thick enough, that's thicker than what it is up here so, so you have to do that, that'll gain you a hundred thousandths right there these here you're pretty well stuck with the, the loss you got on these, there's not much you can do about that and the other thing you can do, you can take this off and you can grind it at an angle and drop it down all the way down to the fork. That gives you another 30. And that would probably get you where you're almost right into here. You might have to lightly grind it right here too if it doesn't sit flat, but it would be pretty close. So that right there give you enough that you would gain. You should have most of this nut would be inside the fork at that point. You know, thread it all the way down in here. Because it won't be flush, but it should be, you know, probably about right here, which is adequate to run on. So it's the same deal. It's not the best way of doing things, but you do what you got to do. The other thing you could do if you want to go down deeper is you can take this here, and you can see how thick this is right here. You can take this. You can cut a, you can cut an eighth inch out of this damn nut right here if you wanted to. You know, it's just all. There's no threads there anyway. So you can cut this thing way on back to whatever it took to get the uh, this to a full nut. Which is probably what I would do. You know, between modifying all these different things, you can get a full nut on there, but you do have to modify it. So it's like everything else on a bike. You know, this reproduction stuff just is not made right. So, but but anyway, there you go. So you can add your how it's uh, supposed to be done, and then what you have to work with. So there you go.